Hope all you swabbies are still awake. Late night mega here. Yeah, I know we're not technically on the boat yet, but it's it's coming up. See, it's right there. And I still like this music. Uh, so let's check around here for any treasures or anything that I didn't... Hey, treasure. How about that? Two antidotes. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm not too worried about missing uh, treasure. Let's go swimming before we get on the boat. Gives us more time to listen to this music. Okay, I can't see if there's any treasures in the water, so if there are, we're missing them. Alright, so we come over here. Yeah, let's talk to these people. Oh, that's nice. The Seeker's Ring. Okay, so weren't you really angry with Titus for, you know, ignoring the traditions and rules and now you're giving us items? I guess it was more for Yuna, so... Oh, and I need to remember to equip the Rod of Wisdom. Look at that, that's amazing. Magic plus five and magic plus three. Uh, percent, that is. So basically, the percentages mean the... Well, the weapon kind of stays relevant over time. Or doing the percent boot base boost makes the weapons stay relevant for a longer stretch of time. Until we find something that says, like, magic plus 10%. Oh, you don't sound right at all. It's just... The summoner Yuna going on here, you're not even like related to her. Goodbye. What's the big deal? Well, actually, we're gonna find out what the big deal is and why the goodbyes to all the places we visit are taken very seriously. But that's not for now. For now, let's enjoy being on a boat. Uh, there is a... Oh, uh, that's kind of rude. Seriously, what are you doing, Titus? That's not even a person you know. I would not be doing that to someone I don't know. Or taking their binoculars. Okay, you're taking binoculars to look at people that are on the ship. Like Lulu? Uh, yeah, I don't understand Titus there. Maybe he's just excited. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Oh, there's a blitz ball here. It doesn't seem like we can do anything with that. Let's talk to Waka. Come to think of it, I haven't told you where we're going. Well, we have an Albed Prime to find Island. on this boat, too. Then we change boats and hit for Luca. For that, though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be guarding. We'll yep, be praying Kilika for the is... victory, too. So you come along, yeah? I guess you can pray <sighs> for that? Okay. Great plan. Hey, it is a great plan. Don't look at me. I mean, it's better than doing nothing. But yeah, there's another temple at Kilika and another cloister of trials. I'm kind of dreading that it's coming so soon, but yet 
At the same time, kind of relieved, because that means we'll be, uh, well, one step closer to finishing all those trials that I don't like. Some wonky camera shenanigans Ooh, there. those fascinating clothes you're wearing. Uh, well, it's, yeah. well, it is kind of fascinating. Selfie. These won't sell. All me names, not Awaka. They sold a lot back in Xanarkand. A lot of people dress like Titus. Don't look like you got much money, either. I've no business with you. Add him Can away. I slap him? Who do you think you are? Awaka the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. Awaka the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. Oh, yeah, you're not that extraordinary, then. But someday, the name Awaka will be spoken all over Spira. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. Okay, after you just insulted me on multiple occasions, you're asking us for gill? Well, we're gonna do it. I believe the magic amount is 1,001 gill. You need to give at least over a thousand. At least for my, what I remember. I didn't double check this with the guide before I did this. But, uh, basically later in the game he'll be opening up merchant shops and Restricted you'll get area. some nice discounts. On this cargo. Why don't you go topside? Discounts that will more than make up for the thousand memory. and one guild we give them here. Besides, it's not like there's I'm much we need to, to buy. Talk about our plan. We do have a save point here. We just had a save point. We didn't even do anything. This game seems to be, like, just throwing stave points at us. I wonder how long that'll continue. Oh, this, uh, briefcase here. You can keep kicking it and keep getting potions. I believe this works up until you have, like, 20 potions or so. So, yeah, I'm not going to abuse it all the way up to 20, but I'll grab a few. Okay, so he's seasick. Oh no, he's seasick. Okay, whatever. These people aren't that interesting. Sorry if I do go through some of the text uh, really quickly. That's kind of the problem with me doing uh, post commentary and not live commentary. What, what the heck is what? What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Yeah, but why the big birds? Can't you see that they're What's running so around and Chocobo generating? Power? Energy? Chocobos? Those are chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? Sanarkand. Hmm. Okay, let's not answer it that way. Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. And if you can see in the corner there, there's our All Dead Primer Volume 3. La, 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 la. What are you trying to imitate Yuna from or imitate Luna from Lunar? Please stop. Your singing is nothing compared to hers. Or mine for that matter. Yeah, I sang the intro in that game. And when we get to Final Fantasy VI, I'll be singing the opera there. I'll just make sure to ruin everything. Or make it more amazing. You guys Word decide. Is, that summoner's got noble blood. I heard she's Lord Braska's daughter. Yeah, Don't say. that is true. Lord Braska's daughter? Hmm. You know, the last high summoner? And Kamari won't talk to us. So, is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. So yeah, Lord you Braska know he's already Saint famous if he has ago. a statue. That's not that weird or Yuna's odd. the heir to a great legacy. It's tough <sighs> when your father's famous. Huh? Walker's a bit lacking. In the imagination department. <laughs> huh? 
I like how you phrase that, <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, now the crowd of people walked away from Yuna. Which most of the people were people from Visade and our our Blitzball team, or Waka's Blitzball team. So I'm not sure why they were over there gawking over Yuna when we just celebrated around the campfire with her just last night. Doesn't make sense. But that's very minor of a thing it's nice. as far as things that don't make mm. sense in this game. Oh, let's paint with all the colors of the wind. You're a Blitzball player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Mm-hmm. Okay, why would uh, Waka tell her that? Well... Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. But I believe you. Huh? Really now? I've heard in Xanarkin, there is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. They can't be the same Jack as Titus. Titus's dad. My father. His name is Jekt. <gasps> Amazing! Hmm. You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? Because I'm from a thousand years My ago. Oh man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. I'm sorry. Hmm. He went out to sea for training one day, and never came back. But ten years ago, but ten years ago was the last and no one's seen him here since in Spira. then. Why, that's the day... That Jekt huh? came to Spira. But uh... it's true. I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. The only problem I have with I this is we've been day. warped a My thousand God years into the future. So was it more like fits, a thousand it? and ten years uh, ago? <laughs> yeah, but how would he get here? Well, probably the same way you got here. You're here. Are you not? Haha, -ha, she makes a good point. <laughs> I also agree because it's kind of the point I was making. Oh, this isn't good. Can we just for once go out to sea without getting attacked by Sin? You know, at this point in the game, you kind of saw that world map, and when you get a better picture of it, you'll see that there's a lot of, like, inland areas. At first I thought this game was going to be like mostly islands and Sin is this big like sea creature because Sin's only been attacking from what we've seen at this point out at sea. By the way I guess I kind of spoiled it here. Sin's attacking. We haven't actually seen him yet but yeah that's who it is. And we have boss music and a cutscene. I really love the music here. I don't like the boss music as far as, like, boss battle music. It's just... I mean, it feels like boss music, but it's just not memorable and catchy enough. But it is epic enough to really set the mood for this. What do you think you're doing? Stick a harpoon in him and we'll all get dragged under. Zin is going for Kilika. We gotta distract him. 
Our families are in Kilika. Forgive us, Lady Summoner. Oh, uh, well, let's do what you must. Shouldn't we, like, Wait. summon an Aeon and oh, try and boy. fight that thing? I mean, granted, you know, defeating Sin is not going to be that easy. Otherwise, it would have been done already. But there's got to be some way to stop this uh, monstrous beast. And that's one thing I do like about the basic premise of Final Fantasy X, is just having this big beast monster. Like, he's not trying to conquer the world or anything. We don't even know his motives or objectives or if he even has, like... If he's even capable of intelligent thought, he could just be, for all we know, just a beast that goes around attacking everyone. And they've really done a good job of building up Sin's legacy and uh, power. And it really does make him seem, like, near unbeatable. And even when someone does beat him, like uh, Baraska did, it just brings about a ten-year calm, where basically Sin is, like, I guess, sort of subdued for ten years. Oh, I was really hoping that it was going to be able to kill him. That is unfortunate. I'll be able to use Kamari in this battle. That was a critical hit, but, uh... Yeah, Sin is also moving from side to side, which I'm not fully sure what the purpose of that is. Alright, let's take care of these sin scales. Actually, what we need to do first is cheer up. And we got to tag in Waka and Lulululululu and get them some experience here. Yeah, that's, that's another thing, like, characters won't gain experience unless they tag in and you have them do some action battle. I think I did explain that last time. Uh, okay, can Kamari... 185, okay, so we can't quite one-shot those things. I'm gonna... For my plan for this battle is to cheer up until we can kill those sin spawns in one shot. Although I don't want that thing to use its flicker attack on me. Because it's not nice. Alright, that's been darkened. Okay, there go the sin spawns. But unfortunately, in this battle, as soon as you get rid of the sin spawns, well, all three of them, that is, uh, well, the sin fin spawns more sin spawns. And this is our tutorial for fighting at a distance. So it works kind of the same way with aerial enemies, only this time, like, I could have people like Kamari and Titus, like, attempt to attack aerial enemies, and there's a huge chance that they'll miss, like, at least 50 to 80% chance they'll miss. Now we need to cheer up a little more. But fighting at a distance, like, Titus and Kamari can't even target Sin for their attacks. So you have to use, like, either Waka or uh, Lulu's black magic. We'll bring Lulu in in a little bit. I think my ultimate plan with this battle... Ooh, overkill, that's nice. I think my ultimate plan for this battle is going to be to have Lulu, Waka, and Kamari. Kamari dealing with the Sin spawns, and Lulu and Waka on the offense. And we can see the Sin scale has 2,000 HP. And he's immune to darkness. Of course, it makes sense. And Kamari can one-shot those things. I'm, yeah, I'm really not sure what the functional purpose of the Sinfin shifting sides is in this battle. I mean, it changes the camera angle, and 
that's about it from what I can tell. Well, let's just keep going with uh, alternating different black magics. Alright, get rid of the one whose wing is flickered. And let's try some thunder. Uh, target the Sin Fin. There we go. None of them seem to be any more uh, damaging than the other. Get rid of the one who's flickering. And yeah, this formation is working out just fine. And let's show off Blizzard. This is a chance to sh kind of show off all the level 1 uh, black magic spells. Uh, let's go to Yuna. Because Valfor has the overdrive. And like I mentioned previously, I'm going to forget to go to the abbreviated or abridged uh, some of the animations. Eventually I'll fix that. What I plan to do is I'll show off like the full sequence uh, for an Aeon summoning once, and then we'll switch to the abridged version. So otherwise it will take a while. Uh, energy Ray... That's not hitting Sin, is it? My idea with that was that it was going to hit Sin. Maybe I needed to target Sin. Maybe I couldn't target Sin with that. I don't know, but this is suddenly really bad, because now we have three new Sin spawns. And a lot of times using the overdrive of an Aeon will, like... It has a really slow recharge time. A lot of times your enemy can get like two to three moves in, uh, or turns in, after you use an overdrive. Like, look how much the uh, Sin Fin is moving. And yeah, we, we finally got our turn again. Okay, this... Damages an enemy. I want to... I wanted to be all cool and finish off Sin here with that overdrive. But this is not working out, so we're going to dismiss the Aeon, and we'll go back to fighting. Ouch. Uh, Waka, I don't think you can one-shot those things. Lulu probably can with her magic. And she's got plenty of it, too. Um, okay, so up next is the Sin Fin, so I don't really have to worry about that. Uh, get rid of Mr. Flicker Wings. And I'm going to keep Yuna in here just to heal up Lulu. Uh, Lulu, Lulu. Come on. Lulu, 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 Lulu. You knew it had to be coming. Alright, waka waka boom! Yep, that's the catchphrase I'm gonna use for waka. Come on, pro wrestlers have their catchphrases. Final Fantasy X characters can too. Besides, we are tagging in and out. And we did enough damage to the Sin Fin to trigger the next cutscene. The amazing looking cutscene, by the way. Uh, amazing and devastatingly scary for our characters. Sin just got us all wet. Oh well, that counts as a shower. Oh, don't tell me Titus got swept away again. That would be really annoying. Uh. 
so without knowing anything for sure, you just dive in. Okay. Well, I guess uh, Titus is underwater, and he's getting attacked by the Sin Scales. How fast can one throw? Oh, I guess Blitz Balls were meant to be thrown underwater. Was that a high potion? Or an X potion? That better not have come out of my inventory. I don't think it does. But yeah, of the characters that can uh, actually combat underwater, it's uh, just Titus, Waka, and Riku. And we don't have Riku. But we do have another boss. And we are kind of out of time, so... We're going to deal with this boss next time.